Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods, and I am back from a rather long break, loves. I know this was quite long, <laughs> longer than I had expected it to be. But I'm so glad I took that break, and I'm so glad that I'm back, back to you guys, back to my cards, and back to my readings. This one's for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for the first week of August from the 1st to the 7th. Virgos, we're going to look into the challenge, the advice given by the universe and the outcome that possibly is going to come up. If the advice is followed, please remember these are general readings, times fluid and energies can be reversed. So Virgos, we are ready let us jump in spirit what's the challenge my virgos might face this week 7th august first of the 7th of august what am i supposed to do these are both in challenge hermit and five of fire high charged energy here high charged situation i hear and in some ways we need to disengage ourselves which we are not able to do in this it feels like we are neck deep into something and we are not able to look at the situation by pulling ourselves out we are not able to distant ourselves so that we can take a balanced decision or action or approach and it doesn't seem like this is necessarily what we want it feels like the situation or the people around you they are not allowing you to disengage or you know pull yourself out it's like you're being sucked into something that not necessarily that you are willing to be in or have your say in or be part of wow okay let us see what's the advice my virgos are being pulled into something you need to disconnect see this is what i'm saying nine of earth nine of pentacles very very independent energy you do you virgos you do you do not succumb to the pressure that is created around you by the people or the circumstances. This is you taking your own call, you being you, you taking the steps you feel necessary and it is now even more necessary for you to have your own say, have your own mind. You need to make up your mind. You do. And if they do so, what's the outcome? Quite a bit, actually. Quite a bit. We have the seven of waters. We have love. We have king of earth and king of air. Look, responsibility, clarity. There's a lot of cutting the bullshit and getting your grounding back again. Usually, you know, you would not feel good about not having a certain level of control over your reaction. Always kind of well balanced. Na? King of Earth showing here is like you were off balance. You were. You are told whatever the situation is, gather your energy to be you and there would be some crap that you would have to cut for which you would need to take your call. Can't keep everybody happy, can you? With love and seven of waters coming in, it seems like once you do that, those who care about you doesn't look like that you're gonna upset them in some ways. It feels like you are not taking this call because you have this fear or 
you're not sure how those you are concerned about are going to react once you do what you need to do i guess we're going to come back on track with that footing on the ground very much so knowing as well realizing that love's been there all along i've got enough and more i shouldn't have i need not have worried about what i was worrying but for that you need to have your own word you need to have your own say you need to have your own thought process and that needs to be cleared six of earth bring in balance back bringing transparency back let us clarify loves it seems like there is someone else's energy here that is not letting you be you you are kind of avoiding conflict but the conflict remains very much in the scene what you have been trying to avoid anyhow that's not really happening your approach is not really helping you anyhow virgos hermit and the five of fire okay quite a bit here again we have two of pentacles we have the six of pentacles showing up twice here this time around in the challenge yeah deal with the situation and deal with the people involved in the situation this balance is now getting a bit too much to maintain you're not able to do so because clearly there is no transparency there is no fairness i feel in this situation that is the reason why you don't want to engage yourself into it but no matter how much you try you're not able to avoid that you're not able to walk away from it you are not 10 of pentacles page of swords and strength coming along with the 8 of cups there with the 6 of pentacles and the 2 of pentacles this could be a situation where money is involved i see a lot of pentacles here and there is some kind of very deceitful energy it's a high conflict situation as i said it's a very high on energy but not in a positive manner it's a very high electric current that i feel like panic some kind of panic somebody is trying to create some kind of fake urgency for you to react not respond like you know when the cat is surprised the cat just pounces that is what i feel there is no control no matter how much you don't want to pounce you are somebody is manipulating the situation for sure nine of earth as the advice spirit why do we have nine of earth for my virgos as the advice please not yeah the balance you got to listen to your intuition you got to yes look we have the tower there's something that you're trying to avoid there is no avoiding this whatever that is got to work on this look nine of pentacles showing up again on your emotions just go with that rather than trying to keep everyone happy and worrying that oh my god we're going to land up in a conflicting situation you are already in there so there is no running away from it anyhow but what you need to do is take independent call acknowledging your emotions taking accountability of it taking an account of how you want the situation to be not how it's going to be the best for everyone no 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 we are talking about you here we are very much talking about you and someone might not like it this could be you know 
a confrontation that you had been avoiding which is going to happen anyhow but what you are told is to work on that inner calm while you are going to go ahead and confront because disengaging is not happening anyhow whether it is confrontation whether it is disengagement either or because nine of pentacles is a very independent energy you take that call independently without any influence by the people or this whatever fake urgency the pressure that is created around you this seems like more to me as a confrontation but for some it is disengagement as well your inner calm needs to come in you need to take an account of how you feel about the situation at this point in time it feels like you have been so engrossed in just dealing with this that you have not taken an account as to how am i feeling about this where do i stand in this whole situation why exactly am i here by the way you know that talk is not happening why because you are just trying to handle it and once you flip that way of handling this wherein you are the focus and not just the dealing situation attitude we are yeah we are calling it time out peace not dealing with this you will get that clarity as that king of air you know that is my cut the crap king you don't take bullshit and you come to a place where you are comfortable and grounded with what you have done it's been tiring to bring that balance in it has been tiring to actually play a fair game with someone who's not really being fair it's really energy consuming i feel for you guys yeah look bringing the balance back in bringing peace back in for yourself taking the time out and as much as you were worrying as to whether you'll be able to deal with this look i see right here this is like okay we are ready what are we going to do standing in the challenge and here it's all relaxed love's back in the picture love and calm and peace is restored for yourself and balance not to forget not to forget you're going to be able to figure out more than one way to deal with the situation keeping yourself and your peace in focus and your balance this has been painful this has been tiring but it was needed indeed for your own sake not necessarily that everybody will be happy about that yeah let us get you an oracle guidance message from the energy oracle deck final word for my virgo spirit final word for my virgos for the first week of august please for the spread let us see what has come up healer of the ages beautiful look we have the heart chakra glowing here we have the four of swords in the outcome this is all about healing taking a time out peace peace out yeah this is listening to your heart opening up your heart and dealing with whatever this is with calm and peace and bringing love back in the scene with love card here and healer of the ages coming in beautiful this is yeah you'll be able to deal with that don't worry about it feels right now a little overwhelming but that's all right number 51 let's read this out for you guys this powerful being brings the force of ancient wisdom and profound healing 
the light of divine consciousness pours from his hands and heart flowing to you with love and a powerful healing intention this amazing entity is with you now bringing resolution to physical mental and emotional ills helping to unblock stuck energy and revitalize your life force you may have felt this strong presence recently or you may just be opening to wonderful sensations now you can call upon this emissary of miraculous transformation whenever you need vitality balance or renewal know that at the deepest level an important healing is taking place wow lovely healing love peace balance all coming back in virgos for you and on that beautiful lovely note i'm gonna take your leave thank you so very much for joining me this week it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods